Okay, I have some interesting news. This is uh, per Ryan Holmberg, a wonderful translator. He made an Instagram post about how Tsuge Yoshiharu and Chiba Tetsuya have become the first mangaka to become members of the Elite Japan Arts Academy. Let's see, besides becoming the inaugural members for the manga division, they're also uh, both going to get a stipend, 2.5 million yen, uh, equivalent of 21,000 US dollars, as being uh, national public servants. Let's see, Ryan translated the uh, response that Tsuge gave, which was, I was totally surprised, I never thought I'd be selected. I don't know anything about the Japan Art Academy, and I'm not sure I deserve it, but it happened, and I happily accept the honor. And he also made a comment about uh, getting the stipend, is that, I can't wait until I'm old enough to receive national security. I'm jealous of the fine artists with their order of cultural medals and pensions as members of the Arts Academy. The only thing an aging cartoonist can count on is paltry social security. The sooner the better. Uh, I would say congratulations to uh, Tsuge Yoshiharu and Chiba Tetsuya. I think Ryan also mentioned that um, it might have been better to get Motohagio as opposed to Chiba Tetsuya. But uh, Chiba Tetsuya is very famous. He's creator yeah. of, you know, Tomorrow's Joe. So. But good for Hagio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe next year, hopefully. But yeah, Tsuge Yoshiharu being included with um, Chiba Tetsuya is, is huge. Yeah. Mm. I, uh, you know, I, I think of uh, Tsuge uh, as as kind of being, you know, I mean, this, this is from a, you know, s- strictly Western perspective, like lesser known. I don't think he's lesser known in Japan. He's just old. <laughs> um uh he's just been you know doing this for a long time uh so i'm glad i'm glad he's being recognized uh especially since his work is often very um you know <laughs> critical <laughs> dour <laughs> oh yeah um but uh no i'm glad i'm glad he's getting recognized and and you know chiba as well but uh i i would also like to see motohagio getting more recognition kind of in general uh though i'm sure she gets plenty more in japan than she does here I appreciate that they went with Tsuge Yoshiharu because, like you mentioned, he is older. And hopefully they will, like, be recognizing a lot of, like, the older manga artists who are still alive. And could probably use, you know, an annual pension fund. Yeah. Though I did see a comment somebody made on on Ryan's post. was like, you know, these kinds of awards with stipends usually come after, you know, somebody's more established as opposed to, like, giving it to a younger artist who could really use the you know the financial support is is definitely something worth considering um but yeah i do i do hope this helps uh tsuge you know live out the rest of his days comfortably yeah i don't know anything about the japan arts academy either but it kind of sounds like you know they want to approach it from an academic standpoint and so they, it makes sense that they want to go start with like more older established manga artists and we'll hopefully add on to that. Don't worry, Morgana. But uh, I would say after they do all the elderly like manga artists, they will start going to just the popular ones like Eichiro Oda from One Piece. Probably. That's my guess. Give Yoshihiro Togashi lots of money. He's, he's sick all the time. Yeah. Hmm. If you're going to be supporting popular Shonen Jump artists anyway, uh, I think he deserves it. I mean, if you're approaching from an academic standpoint... Actually, here, I have a... Brian translated, like, the reason why Tsuge was picked. With their literary depictions that offer glimpses of the absurdity of human existence and experiences of alienation, his work has a massive impact on young people who look to manga as a medium of self-expression. He has also received high praise from the worlds of art and literature, while the development of manga criticism has been led forward by interpretation of his work. As the epitome of high art within manga, he is a representative artist of Japan. Uh, I don't know about what you guys think, but I'm pretty sure Yu Hakusho is high art. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm pretty sure that Yusuke is a perfect reflection of the... uh, foibles of humanity and the uh the struggle to uh remain well behaved in a society that does not uh consider your needs etc blah 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 <laughs> listen Morgan, I'm, I'm i do not disagree it, okay? <laughs> i do not disagree with you at all but based on like the words that they said about suge it's probably not gonna be a Akira, Akira Toriyama is going to get it first. 
See, what's interesting is that Akira Toriyama, I mean, Akira Toriyama definitely deserves the recognition. He doesn't really need the money, I don't think. Um, but as far as, like, worldwide, international appeal, like, you, can't, you really can't beat Dragon Ball. Of course. Um, but I don't I don't think that this is what, what they're going for, right? No. I this, like is like, this is, like, Japanese. It seems like the Oscars type of, like, looking at prestige manga and, like... Well, not, not even that. This I feel like this is... There's a lot of national identity tied up into this. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe even... I don't want to say to problematic extent, but, like, if this institution is as um, old and set in the ways as maybe Ryan Holberg um, made it seem in his post, or in some of the replies in, 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 in his post, um, I might imagine some of the picks being extremely restrictive and exclusionary. That's just my off-the-cuff guess. I'm very ignorant on this whole organization. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of, you know, uh, committees that talk about cultural, et cetera, et cetera, you know, kind of um, represent, you know, being representative of a culture are going to have, yeah, restrictions. Um, yeah, and and, 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 I, and I don't want to paint any any kind of cultural committees in an immediate negative light. No, I, th no. I think it, obviously it's important for people to, you know, tell their own stories and, 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 and create their own fables or, or, or whatever you want to call it i will say though you know akira toriyama might get recognition um for representing japan's uh in a, in a sense to to the outside world and also um for i mean i don't want to say he invented the shonen genre but like he did a lot of uh, a, a lot of what he laid down is stuff that is still being, you know. So I, I think he's influential. He's extremely influential. Yes, extremely um, in Japan influential. as well. So I don't know. But I who knows? I think they'll they put in like Katsuhiro Otomo first. Oh yeah, definitely. I would give it to him. Yeah. Yeah. If I were giving out the awards, everybody would get one. <laughs> everyone, everyone. <laughs> you get, get money, their, and you get money. Everybody would get their two point five million yen a year because I want I want artists to be happy and live happy, healthy uh, lives comfortably, you know, until until they pass peacefully in their sleep, not of a terrible illness at forty five or whatever. Even Mita Norifusa, so we can make more investor Z. Uh... <laughs> Look, I may not like his work, but that doesn't mean I don't think he deserves to live a good life. You heard it here, everybody. We're gonna <laughs> endorsing Investor Z. That's not Give what I'm that doing. Give that man his money. That's not what I'm doing. That's not. And you know, he, to be fair, he also clearly knows so little about money that I think he could really use the help. <laughs> he just blow along crypto or some shit, right? Investing in an NFT. In any case, uh, congratulations to Tsuge Yoshiharu and Chiba Tetsuya.